Hey guys, it's me Ubaid and today we will see how we can use DeepSeek to create an AI agent which can do any automation for you, right? So yeah, we will see how we can utilize it. And if you are new to channel, feel free to subscribe and let's get started. So what, what I have here is we are using DeepSeek and with some kind of automation I have done for from my uh, Google Calendar and what I can do is I can just ask questions around around my automation right so I can just say and my particular use cases I want to query about my events and all the all the upcoming stuff right so I will just say what are my upcoming meetings and yeah let's hit the run okay so if i just print this response or if i just copy cell output and i will just print it so that we can see a bit better yeah so based on the information you have provided and I will I will tell you how the information is being provided here you have coming three events which is the discovery call and all of that right now how we are using this uh, so what we are doing is we are calling the deep seek r1 model and with some sort of prompt right and this prompt is containing our automation results right so yeah now one thing i want to show around this model is the chain of thought how beautifully it think and then responds right so i just asked what are the some fun things to do in the new york and came up with all of this thinking process with all uh, this think uh, tags and it kind of internally use uh, the markdown syntax so we have this think tag all of the thinking behind if okay so user is asking for the fun things it do let me start by recalling what i know all of that right so think is this much here and then it came up with this response right so pretty robust response if you see right so you can compare it with like o1 and and all of that it is very uh you know interesting to see how it handles the emojis right so yeah okay uh let's see how we are doing our automation now right so what we have here is pretty simple function i keep it very generic so that you can change it to anything you want right so in my case i'm using uh connecting a google calendar it is my calendar obviously so you can use yours or any of you know your customers calendar but this is the function which will be replaced by your automation right connect google calendar can be connect gmail can be connect your uh, hubspot crm can be connect your salesforce can be connect to a client database everything right you just have to like build your logic here and whatever the response you are getting you have to feed it to your deep seek r1 right and that's how you get the response like around your uh, the uh, automation you have built so in my case i can query around my google calendar and uh, so you can you can think of a use case where i'm asking it can you just postpone this meeting can you just cancel this meeting right can you tell me who is uh who will be present in this meeting which i have right in a in a couple of hours so it will tell me like okay so in the discovery call uh these are the participants present right so yeah you can use any type of automation functions with the deep seek and why we are using the together api or together ai and let me tell you what it is actually so here is together ai 
you just uh, do a Google search for Together AI DeepSeek and you will get to know how you can utilize the DeepSeek with Together AI. Why we are using DeepSeek? Because the DeepSeek provider, the company itself is not something uh you can think of as a as a as a model building company right they are not uh providing their their services at the at the level of open ai or or somewhat right their model is good but uh so like right now they are they are under maintenance right so it is better to use because it is all open source to use like uh good infrastructure which you can which you can rely on, right? So Together AI is one of those. There, there may, uh, can be like many third party, but this is like from the beginning, I can rely on that. So yes, you can see a lot of models here from the Together AI and DeepSeek R1 is definitely one of them. And yeah, so that's how you can use it in your custom workflows and the automations. Okay, I will meet you in the next video and yeah, uh, thanks for watching.